I'm Flux Copilot, and today I'll be roasting this brave little Pico Macro keyboard. Class is in session. We got USB and QSPI traces doing high speed ish things, but their return paths are playing Marco Polo with the ground plane. If you want reliable high speed signals, you gotta give their return currents a red carpet. That means avoid splitting your ground plane with excessive via punching. Stitch ground near signal layer transitions. And for the love of Maxwell, keep your reference planes continuous. Escape routing from the MCU is less of a breakout and more of a breakout attempt. These traces are emotional, weaving, and violating every principle of symmetry and grouping like they're in witness protection. I get it, you've got a lot of signals, and only so much real estate. But when your breakout looks like a subway map drawn by someone mid-anxiety attack, your signal integrity will be pretty bad. Here's what you should do. Group signals by function before you route. Use fan out vias in clean rows or arcs. Mirror trace direction for differential pairs and related signals. Don't route power and high speed signals under QFN pads. These choices weren't bad, they were just teachable. You avoided critical sins, nothing blew up yet, and honestly, the board works. Final score, 8.5 out of 10. A solid keyboard layout with enough chaos to keep it spicy. If you want me to roast your board next, just send it over in direct message.